Ooh, doggy, it's cold out here. It is 43 degrees outside. I just sprayed this thing to death with car, car brake cleaner, brake clean, flammable brake clean. So let's see if it starts. It's probably gonna hit and then it'll cut off and it'll hit and cut off. Let's see if I'm right. That was all brake clean. That was all brake clean. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Okay, so just got over here, got this thing cranked up, got it in the shop. We're gonna be working on the suspension tonight. We're gonna scale it out real fast. And I've got to raise the back. I added that 50 pounds in the trunk. And you can see it is like scrubbing. It is really close on this side. So we're gonna scale it also tonight. Uh, what I'm gonna do, let me show you under here. Too fat, too fat. Okay, so I can keep running the coil over up, but the problem with that is, is this car separates in the back. It doesn't squat, it's got anti-squat. So you can see there's very little of the shaft that is in the body because the car separates and pushes forward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move it up a hole on the, the brackets itself. And this side over here, you can see I've got this side already run up a little bit higher. And when we get the anti-roll bar loose, we'll scale it out, see what it looks like. Uh, on the four corner weights and then we'll go we'll go from there but this thing it should be getting i would imagine pretty close to uh 51 percent maybe 52 percent on the on the nose i would love it to be 50 50. i don't know if i can ever get it there but that's what we're going to try so that's what we're working on tonight um, and there's some of my beat up brakes that is a bracket that is off of a 87 turbo coupe and I cut it instead of being on the front side of the bracket. It's, I had to cut the, the wedge out and it slides over and then it's just got spacers on those bolts. And then that's factory calipers off of the, the turbo coupe. Uh, SVO, 86 SVO is the same thing. So here goes my setup down here. So that's what we're working on tonight. Okay, so what I had to do there is grind where my bar goes in right here. It's a little too close to my bracket on the other side, so I had to clear it. So, so Matthew about squished me with the car. That good? Uh, come back this way some. Back toward the back on that frame rail. Look, it's a frame rail. All right, back towards you just a little bit. Oh, right there. Okay, so we're gonna go do the other side. Got the anti roll bar unhooked also. Um, so we're going to do this side now. Okay, so I had to run that uh, coil over down just a little bit because it was too high on that side. Hey, can you let down the jack? So now we're fixing to throw it on the scales here in a minute. We'll make sure it's even. Yeah, go ahead and let it down all the way. Push down on the back. See if that's pretty even, side to side. I can get a finger on this side and a finger and a half on the other. 
So the right side's still just a little high? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what it, door, it, it squats on that side. Okay, so what we got here now, so we got these, or, see with the, most of the arm is down in the body, like I was saying earlier. And so what that's gonna do when the car separates, when it pushes, when it separates out, it's gonna have as much extension as it can get. Um, this side over here is a little closer. It's still, it's still got some, it's just the way the, the angle is on that spring uh, that it looks like. You see I've got 110 springs on it. So they collapse quite a bit. So I think we're pretty close here. Um, and our roll bar, we'll have to reset it since we did a bunch of stuff on that. You can see it is, it's way off now. So we're gonna have to completely redo the anti-roll bar to get it where it needs to be. So I guess we're gonna scale it first though. We'll get, the, we'll get it on the scales real fast and uh, see what we got as far as weight. And then we'll check the ride height stuff I need to reset the shocks back here as well. Okay, so we got this thing on the scales. The weight with... Twenty-nine, twenty. Twenty-nine, twenty-one. Okay, so we got this thing on the scales. It is a pig with me in it. 51.5% on the front though. So that is pretty doggone close to what I was hoping it was going to be. So Brian's about to hop under there now and uh, play with the and right I roll on it. Yeah, the right rear needs to be just a tad longer. So he's gonna, watch what it does to the scale. He's gonna extend the right rear and I roll bar and we're gonna be able to get this thing pretty close from side to side weights in the back. Watch what it does. You should be able to turn it by hand, Brian, once you get the nuts loose. Okay, turn it another half. Okay, go ahead and go another half. Okay, another half. Okay, now the back weight is almost, is 792, 7. 69 but the front is 90760 so it might be better where it was go back down loosen it back up or shorten it shorten it some more okay shorten it some more Okay, that's that's where we started out right there. So it's 829 on the back rear and 734. So it's 100 difference on both. Um, okay, extend it again. Extend it some more. Okay. Okay, that is almost... Uh, 50 50 side to side, 783, uh, 780. But on the front, it's got 910 on the front driver side and 751 on the passenger side on the front. front yeah, the front driver's heavy by 150 pounds. But the back is perfect right there. Uh, hell, I don't know. Okay, go back, go back, turn, look, shorten it back up again. Yeah, the other way. A little bit more.
Hold it right there. Okay, so that right there is 818 on the driver side back, 750 almost on the passenger side back. So that's 60 pounds, but on the front, it's all it's 100 pounds instead of 150 now. Now what will happen if we extend that back out and then we raise the front of the... Uh, So if we preload it more up on the front, though. I don't mind the driver front being a little heavier because the torque. Yeah, the torque actually displaces it. Displaces that. Okay, so right now, where it's at right now is 879 front driver, 781 front passenger. So 100 pounds there, and the back is 60 pounds heavy on the driver's side. Because if we get the back where it's dead even from side to side, then it's... Well, that, yeah, if you're talking about if we get it where it's 100% even. Well, I don't want to do that. It's easier to use the inner roll bar to control it. I try to get a happy medium between all four corners. That right there is probably the happiest medium right there. Where you're at right there. I don't ever try to make them perfect because it doesn't drive right. 51.4, 51.5 on the nose. Man, that bitch is working for a single heavy camera. 32.25. Oh, it's all that weight in the back. Yeah, we got, I mean, it's got... Pig, ain't it? And it run a hundred. It run one hundred fifty eight mile an hour. Well, that was a hundred pounds lighter though. That's when I raced Jason Tyson. Yeah. See, but we don't need to go that fast for. I mean, at the no prep stuff. That, that's what I'm thinking. All right, so I think we're going to leave it right here. I think this is a good spot for it. And if it moves left or right, then, I mean, I mean, I can make an anti-roll bar change at the track. I mean, for sure. Huh? All right. We'll have to play with it and see how, see how that right there runs. It's set up better for like the no prep stuff. All right. So this right here is going to be our good starting point. So we're going to try it, see what happens. And y'all can see that uh, playing with the anti roll bar back there, what it did to the the weights on the uh, on the corners. So that that was pretty interesting. That's actually the first time I've ever done that. I've always, we've always said it and then, you know, went to the track and then played with it a little bit. But so this is, this is where we're at right now. Okay, so we played with it a little bit more. And uh, so, so it's a little bit off on the back right. But when the car torques up and moves, you know, it's going to get closer. Hey, John, push down on that right side just a little bit. So he's going to simulate he's on the passenger side, the car taking off. So watch what happens. Now it gets much closer when he pushes down on the back. And then it gets, I mean, at that point, there's a lot, I mean, obviously, I mean, he's adding weight. All right, that's good, thank you. All right, he's adding weight, but I mean, it, you know, simulates the torque of it rolling the car over, hopefully. And uh, so we're gonna try it right here. This is this is it, this is the final where we're gonna be at the weight. I mean, 51.7, 51.4, I think it was 51.5. So, I mean, that's not bad. So we're gonna, we're gonna try it right there and see what happens and then we'll make some some changes at the track if we need to okay and we did end up getting the ride height a little better we raised it up probably three quarters of an inch 
I appreciate y'all joining in. The car is scaled. I think it's ready to go racing this weekend. So we're going to see what happens. Be somewhere trying to get some passes this weekend, trying to get ready for the no prep race. So tomorrow night, we're going to be working on Randy's car. We're going to get the motor out at least, maybe get the motor uh, apart tomorrow night. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all go fast, get some wind lights. Uh, if y'all don't mind, please comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.